Hello everyone, I'm back with a sort of review slash mm, tell you guys how I've been running my uh, samples and backing tracks uh, lately. Um, I've had a few, few people ask so I said I might as well make a video about it. I got it from um, another video. I can't think of who at the moment but I will find it and put it in the description. But what I've been using is um, this fun little app here called Audio Cues. And what it does is it's it'll run your uh, samples and everything. And it's pretty cool. It gives you all these options when you want to load in a, a cue. And it's a, uh, it's pretty hands-on, pretty simple to use. And um, what I'm doing is running this little stereo splitter into the two top lefts up here, and then running the FX end straight to whatever like my PA or. anything like that and then this is how I have it set up with the FX and I have going through the right side will be all the samples and everything we want to hear out there and then on the left side is I have it with my click tracks and uh, the guitar track and a bunch of stuff like that and I have that cut from the FX end so that doesn't go out but um which I'll show you how this sounds. And then usually now, I um, I run my trigger module either straight into here or uh, direct box into there. Sorry, I have the jack all the way in. straight through there Let's see if I take this what I'm hearing in my in my in-ears which that's why this is kind of a mess it's like tied together. I have a little extension cord so I can plug that in because I still have these still working pretty good. Sorry about that. There we go. I haven't had like a need to get any new ones because they work just fine for the purposes I need. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, it's just that, the triggers. It's pretty simple setup. And then uh, what I usually do, you know, you just quarter inch the phones, put your, boom, and then headphone port. Yep, and that's how I do mine. I'll give you another look here um, of how I actually set it up like that, so it'll split uh, correctly. But yeah, um, that's about it. Alright, so here's a little rundown. Sorry, I don't have a screen capture right now, so I'm just doing it with my phone. But, let's see here. This is how you do this. So, these are my primary samples. I run them straight down the middle. And then for me to hear in my ears only, I'll put the guitar. And I'll put everything I want to hear to the left. And then just, um, of course, mute everything else. And then I have just my edited tempos. And I'll kick in perfectly every time. And then 
yeah, it's pretty simple. So just everything you want to be heard out there, you do to the middle. And I put everything, because I usually just have the tracks on the left and my, um, my kick on my right. So, um, that's, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed that, thank you. Uh, that's how I'm currently running my backing tracks and samples. Yeah,